Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had fun from the episode. Um, here, I want to dedicate this episode to my father, who always made the most out of nothing and brought laughter to so many people. He made every single meal for me. He was a stay-at-home dad. And eating together with the family is a time of reunion. And I think it applies across cultures. So Passover was coming up and Passover celebrates the beginning of spring, birth and rebirth, um, journey from slavery to freedom, communication with the world, with your family, with community. So in lieu of that, I invited President Leon Botstein to make a traditional Passover dish with me, the matzo soup. Um, he has always been a mysterious figure for me and a lot of my peers, you know, like you hear about him, but you don't know him and you never see him, but people are always talking about him. So thank you so much for being here and supporting me. And now let's end the episode with Cooking with Leon Botstein. Until next time. Botstein's gonna arrive in five minutes and we're going to cook together. So we're very excited. Can I light a candle when we switch? Okay. When the lights and the camera are setting their tripods and lights here? Is there a lot of shuffling? Yeah, I'm gonna close this. Look how big. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. It's official. Yes. Yes. Come on in. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This is Leon. Uh, this is BK. Hi. How are you? This is her idea. Good. Hello. Um, we're gonna make multiple soup today, but we're gonna start by washing our hands. Yes. <laughs> so we're gonna go do that together. Where are we gonna do that? In the bathroom. Happy birthday to you. Why is happy birthday being because, fun? Because because you're supposed to sing. You're supposed to wash your hands through two happy birthdays. But this is an arbitrary choice. Is that right? Very arbitrary. Because it's not my birthday. <laughs> it's um for the timing. Yeah. It's for the what? You're supposed to like, do they are saying the length of two oh, repeated happy birthday see. songs? Good. Oh, yeah, well, I, that's enough. <laughs> okay. So I'm supposed to sing happy birthday yes. to you. Okay. Happy birthday to you. Okay, I haven't started, but yes. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear BK. Happy birthday to you. All right, we're done. Clean hands. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Meow Chef. And today we have our special guest, President Leon Botstein from Bar College. And can I offer you an apron? I have no idea of how to cook, so... Alright. Okay, I'm gonna make this a little tighter. Alright. Okay, looks good. Okay, would you read out the instruction for us? So to read the instructions, you're assuming I can read. <laughs> In a bowl, blend two eggs and two tablespoons of vegetable oil. Alright, so we have eggs. So it's from the Hebrew word matzah and mishpacha uh, that's a um, from the hebrew word meaning family uh-huh two eggs and how much two tablespoons there are two tablespoons of vegetable oil. you got it It has 
has the symbol of being kosher of kashrut, which is here. Mm -hmm. And um, it says kosher and parve, which means that it is neither milk mm -hmm. nor meat. Mm -hmm. So we have them, and then... You know why matzah is used? Tell me. Okay, so matzah is used because in Passover, during the period of Passover, um, it commemorates the um, myth of the, um, of the letting go of the Hebrew people who were enslaved in Egypt. Mm -hmm. And when finally Pharaoh allowed them to leave, mm -hmm. they had very little time to prepare. So there was no time for bread to be baked. Mm -hmm. So matzah is unleavened bread. Uh -huh. That's why it's flat and there's no yeast in it. So the, the foodstuffs that were brought um, in the Exodus um, were um, unleavened bread, which is why in the Jewish tradition for the eight days of Passover, mm -hmm. a Jewish family rids all of its home of any bread stuff mm -hmm. and substitutes matzah mm -hmm. for, um, for bread. Mm -hmm. So the matzah ball is made out of the crumblings, matzah flour, essentially, mm -hmm. and that's put in the soup um, to conform because noodles, things like noodles, are, <clears throat> have um, ingredients which are outside of the yeah. um, of the um, of the distinction between bread and matzo. Mm -hmm. uh, Would you do the honor? And what are we supposed to do here? We're supposed to mix it evenly mixed. What is evenly mixed? I don't know what that means. I think we might have to go for a like a dough. What does it mean? So it doesn't. It should. What does it mean? It like should, dough. It should, yeah, be one. It should come to a yogurt consistency. A yogurt consistency? Yeah. It's going to be hard Don't to Don't forget do. some salsa. Oh, yes. Right. The secret ingredient is a drop of salsa. Is it what? A drop of salsa. Really? Yeah. All right. Got it. Okay. Is there a waste paper? Why don't you continue yeah. this? Yeah, oh, I'll this now. Exactly. Alright, okay, so while we wait for the 20 minutes, I'm going to put Okay, you put we that just... in the water? Sir? Yes, sir. We just put some chicken broth in this and meanwhile we can play a little game Alright, so I have my bar college notebook um, the game is we have to find ten things that are common among us between us. Ten things. Yes. Go ahead. We have to ask each other some questions, and I'm going to write it down. So we both went to college. Yes. That's one. What else? Do you ask the questions? Okay. No, we have to yeah. ask each other questions. Do you like music? Yeah. Okay. Now you ask the question. Okay. Um, are you a cat person? Now what does that mean? Like, you prefer cats over dogs? No. No. Okay. Um, okay, that's your turn. I no, 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 you have to get one right. Okay, I have to get one right. Okay. Um, about studying science. Yes, I thought about that. I still study science. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and you like to read? Okay, they like to read too. What's another one? Um, Flip-flops or Crocs? Neither. And you like to have extended discussions with people? Not always. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Um, are you interested in politics? It's you cannot be not be interested in politics. Good. Okay. Free to go. Go ahead. Free to go. Um, Do you like Lady Gaga? No. No? Give me a reason. I don't know enough about it to like it. That's true. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Um, do you like to travel? No. Okay. Okay. What could be common? I have to travel. I don't like it. Uh, You like looking at art. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, go another one. You're better at this than I am. No, no, no. Go ahead. Um. The thing. I I love my family. Okay, we got that in common. Okay, you go. I'm kind to strangers. Kindness to stranger. Huh? Good one. All right, last one. The last one. It has to be good. You get to choose. I get to choose. Are you voting for Bernie? Ladies and gentlemen, this is the face of a liberal student who thought there could be a socialist America where the government serves the people in media free of discrimination of all kinds before Bernie Sanders dropped out of campaign and realizing politics is a game of exploitation reserved for people who like to be blackmailed by money and to murder people who aren't of their concern. There are brilliant and very capable people in this country and somehow, somehow, a wet sack of white potato always win! I don't know yet. Okay. That's fair. The question whether we'll have an opportunity to vote for Bernie, you don't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'm not a registered so Democrat. I'm, I'm, I'm not a registered okay. Democrat, so I'm, I'm an independent, so I don't think it's true. Okay. So I won't vote in the primary. Ah, okay, I see. Mm. Do you like matzo soup? No. No? no but don't. we're making matzo soup. I said, you asked me about matzo soup, you didn't ask me if I like matzo soup. <laughs> so I'm, I'm trying to help you out. Okay, yes, you are helping me I don't have to like it to make it, right? right. Um, you think everybody in a restaurant likes what they make? Somebody they should have a passion towards that. No, I, I would think that most restaurant owners, what do you think? Most restaurant owners don't always like... Well, once you make, make your hobby a job, like traveling. No, I don't think it's about a hobby a job. I think that if you run a restaurant, right, mm -hmm. you want the public um, to think that you're doing a good job. Mm -hmm. And therefore, you're catering to their taste, not to your own. Mm -hmm. So you might make things on the menu mm -hmm. that you yourself would need. That, okay. Okay. But do you like to go to restaurants then? Yes, I would. Okay. Yeah, yes. We got it. That. The last right. one. Great. Restaurants. <clears throat> or eating out. Slash eating out. Okay. Fantastic. Fantastic. That's ten. We're friends now. Technically. Well, technically, if you look at the list, right? Yeah. You don't need ten reasons to be a friend. You probably need only one. Which one would you choose? I feel like you would choose art. You know, I would choose kindness to stranger. Okay. Fair. All right. Beautiful. Because you might one. disagree what art you like, right? I'm going to choose one. That's probably safer. Yeah. Here's the moss ball, and now we're gonna make them into almond size. Just a drink. Almond size? Yes. Very small. Between almond and walnut. Between almond and walnut. This is a lot. Trash can. Okay, you can do You're a little bit. You put a little on your finger so they don't stick. Yes. Go ahead. And then. Okay, we're supposed to roll it around. Okay, I think this one looks good. Oh, well, it's a little bit big for a walnut. Or an almond. I mean, <laughs> I'm pretty sure walnut's big. I don't know, I've never seen I think one. this is like I've only seen a show two almonds. Yes, that's what I was talking about. Cute. As you know, it's totally unrehearsed. <laughs> yeah. 
But we're doing a great job. I'm not sure there is a standard for a great job in making this. She's not a standard. No, I we make it simple. standard. I think you can go wrong. Okay. Okay. Okay, now we put them in. We're supposed to do it fast. Before they realize they're in the water. And being boiled. Now we have to play game number two. Oh, it's game number two? Yeah, you have to come back. Here. Oh my lord, yeah. <laughs> okay, now we have to play our second game, yeah, first which first. is two truths and one lie. You played this before? No. What, no. Are, what are the rules? It would be like you have to tell two truths about yourself, and you have to tell one lie about yourself. And I have to guess which one's a lie, and you will do the same for me. Okay, you go first because I have no idea how to play the game. Okay. okay. You say three things in a yes. row? Yes. Mm -hmm. I have three cats in my apartment. Mm -hmm. I loved citizen science. And I have once choked on a fried cocoon. A fried what? Like, you know those bugs with a lot of feet sticking out? Uh-huh, and you ate a fried bird with... Not a bird, a bug. Oh, a bug? Yes. So a fried bug, which was... With a butterfly. Yes. Uh, and that you swallowed and it. And I choked on it. Yeah. Yes. So I yeah. have to decide which one is the lie yes. that you like citizen science. You're wrong, because I actually enjoy it. Oh, good. Science. I'm glad to hear it. I don't okay. have any cats. You have no cats. No. Great. Great. No. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Right, you get a game now? Okay, now you I have to I, do I one. I lost the game, that's good. You have to do one. I give you I give you some time to think about it. Um. I have two siblings. Mm -hmm. I love my job. Mm -hmm. And my favorite food are mushrooms. Hmm. I want to say that a mushroom is alive. You're right. Because <laughs> it took you so long. That's All right. Easy. That was easy. Okay. That was a good game. That's we it. We can take a break now. Great. Just some Chinese MSG. <laughs> I'm gonna open it now. Okay. Right, Serena, you got it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. so yeah. do you want to grab them? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, grab them. Because we just got it. Oh, you're coming in with the soup. Oh, yeah. You made that one. Today, yeah, but one of the uh, virtues of a liberal arts education is the ability to improvise. And this crisis, improvising is a necessary art. It seems like you like the soup. Yeah, I like soup. <laughs> soup, is my, soup is my favorite form of food, I like mushrooms. You said you wouldn't like matzo soup. I don't like the matzo bowls, I like the soup. Would you like more soup? No. Okay. Do you like, um, what's it called, crepe lock? 
Yeah, Kreplach. Yeah. So Kreplach is the Jewish version of a wonton. Oh. Like basically. Nice. Yeah. So every culture has very similar food. food. Yeah. So a Kreplach actually is a Pure. Jewish version of, um, of like Pelmeni, mm -hmm. which is a Russian um, peasant dish really of dough and stuffing. Mm -hmm. Either it has um, meat stuffing or sometimes potato. Um, and those are similar, they're a similar variety. So a knish, which is a baked version of this, and then there's dough with meat, and sometimes it's boiled, or sometimes it's uh, even fried, but mostly boiled. And kalmeni, which is a uh, Russian dish, is broth with, so like it would be recognizable to Americans who go to Chinese restaurants as wonton soup. Mm -hmm. So the food of Eastern and Central Europe has things in common. It's mostly defined a lot by social class. So most of the called Jewish food that uh, migrated to America with the immigration of right. Jews in beginning the late 19th century and from Eastern Europe is kosher versions of Eastern European food. Now, there's no pork in And um, the food is divided between uh, dairy and non-dairy. So on the box of matzo ball yeah. was the um, designation parve, which is um, neutral, essentially. So the word parve is used also colloquially for someone who's very bland. Someone has a bland personality, they have a parve personality. Thank you for doing this. Did you have fun? Oh yeah. Good. I learned something. Good. But the game, uh, the game about the lies and the truth is uh, mm -hmm. borders on the silly side. But <laughs> the the game about um, what we have in common. Mm -hmm. You like that? Yeah. That's a more curious. Mm -hmm. And what it shows is that for all the talk about our differences. Yeah. You're Chinese. Mm -hmm. I'm not Chinese. And that means a lot, but also interesting what it doesn't mean. Yeah. It doesn't mean that the barriers between us are sometimes less powerful than what ought to connect us. Yeah. You said it. And the categories of connection in that game mm -hmm. were included what we enjoy in life, well, enjoy doing. Uh, that would include things like family, mm -hmm. or wine, or you suggested travel. Mm -hmm. I might have said yes if I didn't have to travel for work. But if you have to travel for work, you get tired of it. I mean, Wait, but he literally just said... Well, once you make, make your hobby a job, like traveling, no, I don't think it's about a hobby job. I it just doesn't, doesn't really, it loses some of its sort of mm -hmm. charm. Mm -hmm. uh, it'll tra travel, particularly today, is, 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 um, is a, a torture. You know, waiting in line for the TSA is, uh, yeah. the planes are impossible. And their tightness and um, uh, reading, yeah, music, watching art. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's that's a good game. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I wish you well on the senior project. Thank you so much. I hope the people who have shabbat to, shalom. A shabbat shalom to you, and uh, um, and let's hope we all get through this in one piece without damage to our health and um, perhaps in a better place as a community. Yeah. That would be nice, right? Mm -hmm. And we're here actually to serve you and to help you. So if you don't have any questions or you have any concerns, just let us know. Thank right. you. Have a nice weekend. You want to move? <laughs> Thank you.
Cody playing the fire. 